These are the three best AI tools that you can use as a marketer to make product shots like this. So then you can share this on social media and get tons of views. And you don't need a studio. You don't need a production budget. You can do this in just a couple minutes. No one's going to like the boring photo. You're not going to make any sales with a boring photo. But if you could have your candle on a beach and now the waves are coming and then you add the sound effects of the crashing waves, that's really where you can get stuff to stand out because no one else is doing this right now. And that's why it's an opportunity for you. Today, you're going to find out how to take a simple product, how to make it look like this in photo room, upscale it so the detail just comes out incredibly well, and then animate it so you can get an incredible video like this. And I'm going to show you how to do all of these today with a few tools. So let me show you how it works. All we're going to do is we're going to take a picture of this, and then we're going to put it into one photo room two Magnific AI, and then three Runway ML and edit it with CapCut as a video editor. So let's jump in. First thing I'm gonna do is open up photoroom.com. And photoroom is an AI photo editor where you can drag and drop and do your basic photo editing. You can do text, you can have images, you can resize. It's a web app. It's also on your phone, so you can literally use it anywhere. It's really fast. But what's really good about it is that you have the ability to do AI backgrounds with it, which is amazing. So I took this picture and you just drag and drop it into photo room. And look at this, you can click resize, you can go YouTube cover, and then this is my favorite part. And you're gonna see a bit later in the video how we upscale this and animate it. But for now, we're just gonna get the mise en scene. And so here you click instant background, and I'm gonna zoom in, but you can see this is all done with AI in real time. It's one of the fastest ways to visualize how your product can look. So here you can see we've got this posh looking background, super blurred. Looks like we used a really fancy camera to do this, but we just did AI and I just use my phone right now. Yeah, this one is super nice. So we'll download this one and we'll try this one after. And while we wait, we can also do other images. So we have a perfume bottle, a hand cream, and product shots are really good because you can have really boring shots that you might make with Canva, where it's just your traditional product shot is just a white background. So let's try uh, another thing. Let's try this lipstick from Charles Tilbury. We're gonna go back to photo room. Again, you just click resize, YouTube cover. Here, we wanna do something dramatic, right? We wanna be like, you know, this is bold fiery. I actually want to go down. We have a volcano option. And so let's see what we can get with this. I'm thinking we might have to make this a tiny bit smaller. So when you move it, you can just refresh it on photo room. And here it looks like this is the volcano. Okay. So this one is something we've got the lipstick and we'll try one last one with a perfume bottle and we'll try to go for that watery effect that they always do. Great, so we've got the perfume bottle. It looks okay. We're gonna, I mean, this is just stuff we're doing in literally minutes right now. So we're gonna put the perfume bottle right in the middle and we're gonna go click on instant backgrounds to get inspired with how we can make this work. Let's try some of the water scenes in Photo Room, which are pretty nice as well. Black water is usually quite cool. Here we've got an excellent shot. I don't love the reflection is the only thing with like a lot of splashes in the background, basically. Now this one is nice. And then we're gonna use another tool to upscale these images called Magnificent AI. So this is Magnificent AI that you see on the screen right now. And it's a tool that just lets you upscale. It not only upscales, it adds more detail. It does this by doing a tiling effect where they're actually recreating each part of your image tile by tile with more detail and then merging everything together. It's like going from 720p to 4K. Magnificent AI is really great. I highly recommend. And here you're gonna click upscale and we're gonna upscale this image so it looks even better it takes about a minute to load and you can see it's just made the sand so much more realistic here like look you can see the sand before looks okay but now you really get the texture so we'll download this one as well we're going to add this one in here which is like basically your classic perfume shot we're gonna upscale it great so again let's look at the aqua parma you can see it's really sharpened everything and this is gonna be our last one. We're gonna download this. Great, now that you have your upscaling done, we're gonna to go to the last part using Runway ML. Runway ML is a video AI tool where you can start with images. They're really trying to make it easy for anyone to make amazing videos like this. This is what the motion brush does, is that it animates what you select. But I really think the motion brush is just phenomenal. And this is how we're gonna take these product shots of the candle 
and make them come alive. As you can do camera motions, motions, but for us, we'll just do the motion brush. And you can see you can drag and drop this beach one. It makes static images into videos. And here, all we're gonna do is we're gonna animate these waves here. And here you have uh, how much you want the camera to move on the X axis, on the Y axis, and on the Z axis, which is how close it gets. So I don't want it to move closeness, but I do want it to move up and down. And then you just click generate after you've set the part of the video you want to animate. And I find the motion brush a bit better. As an AI video editing tool, Runway ML is great, but it, it's not always accurate. So that's why you're trying to limit the amount of movement because then it has to do more work on its side. It takes a bit of time, still 55%. So let's check out the demo. You can see it's sort of animated the candle a bit and we can add the original candle over top of it, but you can see the waves are coming in really smoothly, really nice. Uh, you can do this with any product and it's a great way for your ads or just your social media to show how great your product is by putting it in the right setting. So we're gonna just try to make this come alive, this section. Again, very nice. Basically, I wanna get the water effects to move in a sense. Okay, we're gonna try this one. And basically what we've done here is we've taken boring product shots that you've seen. Basically a picture like this, so like really on my desktop computer, and we're turning it into something like these. So here you can really see this slow motion effect. So we're gonna add this one to it as well. And let's put different music inside. So we'll put epic music, because why not? And you can just add some cool transitions. In CapCut, you can have basic uh, scale and position and size where you can just slightly move the image, basically. And it just makes it a tiny bit more dynamic. And now you've got this incredible video, which we can watch together using three tools. We've got all of these shots working in sync. So there you go. I've shown you three tools. I've shown you how to use Photo Room, which is an AI photo editor to edit your photos and get the background. I've showed you Magnificent AI, which is an upscaling tool where you can just make it a lot sharper. And then you learned about Runway ML where you can animate it and really see the waves coming in. And with these three tools, you have these incredible final product demos like this. You can have almost a, a multi-million dollar budget putting your products all over the world, go out and create your videos and then post in the comment with what you've created.